Thumper. What? What? Oh, <laughs> no, don't push her into me. You stupid turret. Oh, welcome back, everybody, to Ravenhurst. I am an old the guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to continue the search for a friggin' hammer because uh, that's what's holding us up. So, uh, also, you guys told me in the comments that, well, actually, no, I was told on Discord um, that I can't craft the farming table without a workbench. And so I looked at that again, um, and... I know I'm I'm an old I'm an old dog and it's hard to teach new tricks but uh, I'm slowly getting better at this uh, but yeah if you look at the book it says workbench so I'm gonna really try and make a, co a concerted effort moving forward to look at this damn book to see where we make things I'm just not just not used to it okay so um, another one of you guys reminded me in the comments that I can't repair my my wrench with my repair kit because it's under a hundred points. And I'll just destroy it and lose the repair kit, which royally sucks. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, this mod is just a pain in the ass. That's all there is to it, man. It is a pain in the ass. Um, so, okay. Well, uh, yeah, I guess we go look for a hammer. I mean, what else are we going to do, right? What else are we going to do? Let, let's look at our other, uh, our other quest here. So this one... We need to find beer. And, you know, gathering insects isn't that difficult to do, but we, we need to come across some beer for that one. And um, we're working on crafting a workbench. We can't craft a farm table until we craft a, a workbench. This one wants us to gather gas cans and upgrade gas pump. Um, to, 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 to Take 50 gas cans that you have found or made and go to a gas pump. Once the pump is empty, use the gas cans on it. Once the pump is empty, use the gas cans on it. The pump will begin to fill. Once the pump is filled, you will be able to loot it for some gas. You can repeat this process as often as you can. Okay. I think what it's... This is kind of like Undead Legacy. I think what it's saying is you can fill... Wait. No, what? So... Once the pump is empty, use the gas cans on it. The pump will begin to fill. Once the pump is filled, you will be able to loot it for some gas. I'm not quite following that, but let's, um... It's probably just a wording thing. So let's grab some gas cans, some empty gas cans here, and, and we'll just go... You know, once when we come a, 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 by a, a pump, we'll we'll take a look at that. Okay, so let's see. I'm making some more boiled water in here. We got one more to go there. Uh, I am like completely out of wood and pretty much completely out of coal, so I need to get some burning materials. So probably what I will do in regards to that is um, when I'm done with today's episode, if there's daylight left, I'll probably go out and just do some grinding uh, for wood, get some more worms. Uh, we've got 11 pieces of fish and seven red tea so i think we're okay for today's episode in terms of you know food and beverage we should be able to get by with that and um let's put the fish and pole i have actually two fish and poles and the two extra worms in here for now and again like i said i'll take care of that later okay so we can start working on this gas thing but again we have got to find ourselves a hammer uh we really 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 do oh before I completely take off, I should make myself a new um, axe because this is probably not going to last us for the entire day. So let me get that done. Okay. So um, I don't know that we have a whole lot of options left in this town for finding a hammer. Uh, we've been through most places, not every place. Uh, but there is not a, you know, there's not like a tool bench or anything around. Let's go check, actually, let's go check the trader and see if, you know, his inventory has reset. I need to pay more attention to when that happens. Uh, but I haven't checked him for a while. Uh, and maybe we can luck out and he'll actually have a hammer. And if he does, hopefully it's a, a level one because that's all we need to make the workbench. Anything more than that's going to be kind of expensive. 
Okay, what do you got, Trader Bob? Uh, we need a hammer. Hammer time. Nothing there. What about here? He's got an iron s sledgehammer, but not a hammer hammer. Okay, he'll restock on day 15, so so the day after the, the next horde. Uh, okay, well, at least we know that that's the deal, and, you know, we can come back at that point in time. Um, we might consider buying this cheap AK, too. I don't know. We'll see. We'll come see. Come back tomorrow. We get new goods daily. Tomorrow? You mean on day 15? Okay, so. Oh, boy. Let's go. Let's go this way. Back into, you know, the town. And just look around a little bit more. And we're, we're probably going to have to go on a journey. We're probably going to go find another town. And we get to do it on foot, too. Yay, us. That's just the cat's meow, man. I'm telling you. Okay. So there are some houses we could check. Oh, you guys told me in the comments that um, there's actually a... Uh, what were you saying? There is a tool chest on top of uh, the pawn shop that I missed. I didn't actually go on the roof. I just went up into the attic part. So... We should go look at that. And also, I actually have some loot in some bags, you know, from the attic up there. And I never did go back and get it. I don't think, at least I don't think I did. Let's go take a quick look-see. Are all of my blunders loaded? Yes, they are. Okay. Kind of important. So I put those out on, where did I put those? I thought I put them out on the road somewhere. Oh, those, yeah, there they are right there. Okay. Yeah, we've got some loot in there. I need to go through that because it looks like some of that stuff's fairly, fairly good stuff here. All right. You want some, you're going to get some. Oh, man. So all of a sudden, decided to run like a mofo. Leave me alone. This pitchfork's about ready to break. Okay, yeah, let's go back to the, the pawn shop first. Get up on the roof and get the, the toolbox. I mean, you know, maybe we'll luck out and get a hammer out of it. Wouldn't that be fan-freaking-tastic? I wonder if you can fish in a swimming pool. <laughs> this one's closer than going down to the lake. I might have to try that. That'd be funny. My guess is it, that it probably would work, but I don't know. I am not sure. I wonder if there's... I'm trying to think if there's any tool boxes in that construction site. There might be. I just don't remember. You know, down in the bottom where in the basement where all the Ze Zeeks are... I'll bet you there is, now that I think about it. We ought to go check that place, too. But let's uh, let's hop up on the roof of, of the pawn shop first and take a look-see. Uh, we're just going to... Whoops. We're just going to use our frames to get up there. We'll zigzag up. Yeah, right there. There we go. Oh, I wonder, are these uh, letters going to give me a hassle? Shit. Um, how how hard is it going to be for me to break that? Oh, not too hard here. Let's get the... Uh, let's get the pick out for that, though. There we go. No, not that. Okay, get ready for buzzards. We might have some Zeeks in that closet area over there, too. Is uh, having loot on top of this roof new because... I could have sworn the inland was in the attic at the end of the, the pathway. 
in the past. So is that something that's been changed? Or am I just don't know what the hell I'm talking about, which is entirely within the realm of possibility. I'm not going to grab that. Okay, well, here, let's continue to hit the I key for inventory, first of all. At least, at least we're consistent, right? And there's probably somebody in there. Oh, there's a couple of somebody's in there. Okay. Well, let's get these guys bleeding. Whoop, missed. Sounds like there's even more sleepers up here. Yep, there sure is. Whoa, he's running. He's running! Okay, we're gonna have to mind our stamina because we're almost out. Okay, let's pop you again. And that should drop him. Get a little more stamina back and get cheerleader going. Let's run over here and then stop sprinting. Get some stamina back. Oh, there's the stuff. Okay. Um, unfortunately, though, at least in terms of getting a hammer, those are shotgun beside crates. They're not tool crates. That's not a bad thing, though. That could still prove to be quite beneficial to us. There's a purse. With not a damn thing in it. Okay. So, I guess this is where we go, right? Get some ammo mission. I think I have my luckies on already. Let's double check that. Uh, yeah, I do. Okay. Check the medical pile. Okay, we got a... A, a whatchamacallit? Splint. I always want to call it a crutch, but... It's not a crutch, it's a splint. Let's use up this hammer here. Oh, rip off, right. Keep forgetting. And we might as well rip this one off too. I do like this mechanic, um, you know, the whole rip off thing because, you know, then it gives us the barricades and stuff. So. Uh, oh, look at that, man. We have a replacement for our pitchfork. Nice. Gun repair kit and an ergonomic grip mod. That is very handy. We actually have found the schematic for this, but this is the actual mod. That's going to save us some stamina. All right. That was good, man. That was really good. What are we going to get in here? Un <laughs> All right. All right. Even better. Even friggin' better. Okay, cool. Well, we didn't find our hammer, but man, we, we got some good stuff. We definitely got some good stuff up here. Uh, is there anything else up here I might be missing? I think we checked that. Oh, no, we didn't. Yeah, we did. We just don't want the stuff in it. I don't really need to grab more duffel bags and things because we got lots of that stuff. All right, cool. Well, those were, those were some nice finds, you know, all things considered. Let's hop down here, hop down here. All right, hammer. Um, I think we should go, excuse me, see if we can get into here. Because there's going to be some crates in the basement of this place. I just don't, I just don't know or remember rather what they are. Uh, and they could change anyway. So rather than go through the entire house, let's see if we can find a little shortcut to the basement. I guess we could break that door down. Normally what you have to do is go through the through the attic and then work your way down, but I don't really want to do that right now. See this uh that's an actual working saw. Um we could probably take that apart, but my wrench is so in such bad shape that I kind of don't want to do that right now. All right, well, let's break through here. We got Zeke's attentions on the inside. All right, let's um, put some bleeds on this guy while he can't get to us. Yeah, I know, I know there's going to be two or three... 
you know, crates or so down below. Um, and hopefully they're working stiffs. All right, he might be dead. This actually works good because it's this thing's in the way. So we can just bleed these guys out. Quit quit ducking. Right, are you dead? Yeah, he's dead. I don't know how much damage those things can take. Oh shit, not very much. <laughs> Run away! That scared the hell out of me. <laughs> I was not expecting that to break as early as it did. <laughs> okay, we're awake now. Good lord almighty. Okay, he did. I don't, did we get... Yeah, I think we got... Oh, shit. I think we got one bleed on him. Oh, yeah, we did. Okay. Thank God for this knife, man. I'll tell you what. Uh, or bone knife with the bleed mechanic. That has just made this so much better. Uh, I mean, it's still... This mod is still a huge pain in the ass. Not gonna lie. It's a huge pain in the ass. Uh, compared to any other mod I've played, including Undead Legacy. Uh, Undead Legacy was challenging it was realistic had a lot of content very very much enjoyed it it's probably my one of my all-time favorite overhauls of this game but i never really felt like i couldn't um i couldn't move f oh nice we got some honey but i couldn't move forward in it right uh whereas this one has just been one struggle after the other and you know i've said this a couple times to you guys it's for me, at times, been kind of like borderline between fun and, you know what, I'm not having fun anymore because it's such a pain in the ass. Um, I haven't, you know, I mean, I'm not there because we, we are eventually getting, moving forward, albeit super slow. But, I don't know, I've just had a little bit more trouble with this mod on a personal level uh, with the enjoyment of it because of those things. So anyway, um, yeah, there you go. All right, let's go down to the basement, and we're going to get some nasties down here. Okay, good. We have two working stiff crates down here, so that's going to give us opportunity. Um, let's, let's just kind of lead these dudes up here, and we'll take them outside. But we don't want to get too far away from the house just because, you know, we don't want the sleepers to reset. Stop running. All right. This is about ready to break. Well, let's use it up. I would maybe save it and repair it, but we now have uh, two better ones, higher quality ones than this. So let's just break this one, and then we'll switch. The blue one, you know, we'll, uh, I'm assuming we can repair it with normal, you know, vanilla repair kits. That one we'll, we'll keep for, well, until we find something better. No, no running. No running allowed. Dude. I said no running. Okay, he's got to be getting close. Yeah, okay, he did. Now we got this guy. It was so nice, too, to find that ergonomic mod, man, because that's just going to help with our stamina. I don't think it's going to make a ginormous difference, but it will make a difference. I need to drink one of my red teas as soon as this guy goes down, because we're losing some stamina. Okay. Very good. Don't laugh. Um, I need to remember to use my robotic sledge. I keep forgetting that I have it. Okay, we're a bit encumbered here, so let's get rid of that. Um, bu 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 let's eat one of these. Not that that's going to help with the encumbrance. Um, we could probably sacrifice the paper and the jar... And uh, da, 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 I think that's all I want to get rid of. Well, you know, let's get rid of the wood too. And the plastic. All that stuff's easy to obtain. 
Okay, that gets us back to no encumbrance, but we don't have any extra room. All right, now we still might have some friends down here. If we do, that would wake them up. Usually it does. No? What about stepping on this? Nothing? Are we free and clear? I don't know. <laughs> Let's keep this ready. Oh, good. Another. There's three working steps. All right, good. Okay, I think we're free and clear. Okay, guys. I got my lucky looters on. Let's see what happens here. We have three working stiffs. We need a hammer. Absolutely need a hammer to move forward. Let's rip this one off. Okay, chance number one. That's not a hammer. Let's try this one. Chance number two. That's not a hammer. <laughs> it's a shovel, though. Um, okay, we'll learn the relay. I seem to always find that that relay before I even found the no before I even find the normal one. All right, let's check this other stuff really quick, and then we'll go check the final the final dude. Can I get to this yet? Oh, nice. Um. You know, I can, I can make a soup with this, I think. Let's not eat that. Let's save it. We got fish. So I think I can make a soup with that. We're getting encumbered again. All right, here we go. Last chance. Let's rip it off. Every time I say that, it sounds like I'm stealing it. <laughs> well, I guess I am, kind of. Huh. Okay. Here we go. Um... Let's take a, a, a good luck coffee sip here. Delicious. Okay, here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That's not a hammer. Son of a bitch. Okay. <laughs> That's it. I quit. No, I'm just teasing. Um, well, there you have it. We we gave it our best try. There, you know what? Is there is there a working stiff in the upper floor of this place? I don't think so, but let's just hop up there really quick. There's going to be some Zeeks up here. Oh, can I just jump up here? Oh, shit. There's a dude. Oh, shit. That scared me. Where did you come from? Oh, my God. <laughs> that was... That was frightening. I mean, it was frightening because it was startling, but she's also scary as hell, man. She was just right there. How did you do that? Don't do that, little girl. We have like, no, we have, we're like super encumbered. <laughs> oh my God, that's scary. Okay. No, 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 no running. Uh-uh. No, uh-uh. No running. Die. Die. I can't run very well. Die. Please die. Okay. Whew. All right, I don't think I'm going to attack that guy because I'm super encumbered. Well, you know what? We got some good loot. We got some upgrades, some nice stuff, but we still didn't get a hammer. So I guess the next thing we would do in this town is we would check, maybe check some garages, I'm thinking, uh, and basements and stuff. There might be something in that modular home, too, now that I think about it. Um, so we could check in there, but I need to run back to uh, the booby trap here and offload. So I will meet you guys uh, back here. Well, I guess, have we been in there though? I don't know. We'll, ta we'll take a look in there. Dare we even attempt to get into this place? I don't know. We'll see. I mean, there's some really nasty zombos underneath there, but there's also the potential for some good loot there too. You know what? Leave me alone. I don't have any stamina and I can't run. So just bugger off. Don't be running. All right. You're going to get it. I warned you. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> okay. 
Oh, now you're mad. Okay, hold on. Um, there. Take that. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Okay, we got to get up the ladder before Biker Billy gets to us. Okay, we're good. We're safe. Whew. All right, let me put stuff away. I'll meet you guys back over at that little modular house. All right, guys, we are back at the modular house. Um, I went ahead and put away the uh, the cheap ass uh, stone axes that we made. I'm going to use this one, and then I have a primitive repair kit once it gets uh, down uh, quite a ways. I also went ahead and put away the yellow pitchfork just because it was so close to being broken. I don't want it to break right in the middle of combat. All right, I can't remember if we've been in here before or not, so let's just hop in really quick and see if um, there's anything in here that uh, is going to be useful to us. I want to I want to kind of keep this on the toolbar for a quick stamina boost. So, and I kind of want to keep this around too. Oh, he he's in the other room. Of course he is. <laughs> okay, well, whatever. Way to fall down, dumbass. Here, let's, can we put it right there? Yeah, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Thump him good, man. Thump him. I love it. He can almost, like, walk through it. Oh, like that. But the sledge, the sledge probably put some decent damage on him. They shouldn't be able to walk through that. That's bullshit. I'm sure that's a seven days to die thing, not not a Jax Teller thing. There's no way they should not be able to walk through that. Oh well, whatever. Okay, let's pick that up. All right, so we have not been in here, um, as evidenced by the zombie and stuff. Okay, what's this? Dark trap schematic. Okay, and grants you two levels of action skill blunt weapons. Ooh, really? Okay. Uh, sure. Why not? I'm I'm not opposed to uh using the uh using the the sledgehammer either. You know, and the main reason I haven't is because stamina usage and the bleed effect is just so freaking awesome uh, on the knife. You know. Yeah, we will take that. What's in here? What are we wearing right now for a hat? We are wearing a damn near completely broken football helmet. Okay. This will just scrap down into iron. Uh, we already have these, and so I'm scrapping those for leather. Okay, let's go. Oh, no, rip off. Let's go see what's in here. We might luck out and find something good in the sink, like another wrench, for example. Come on, wrench. We need something over a level 100 so we can repair it. All right, let's check this. Uh, we don't need a bong. I mean, I already have one. I mean, I'm not sure what it's even used for. Guess we could do this, right? Zombos are coming. I'm going to close that door. Um, where's the bong? Where's the bong? Didn't I just get the bong? Yeah, here's the bong. Uh, there's no book to read it, so, I, yeah, I don't know what it's for. I've got another one. We'll figure it out later. What kind of shit's in here? Oh, there's no shit in there at all. Okay. <laughs> that, uh, nah, we're not gonna take that. Okay, uh, we got some food and another chance for a wrench in here chicken soup. I'm going to try and start hanging on to canned stuff now because again, there's a lot of different soups and things, you know, mod soups and stuff that you can make. Is there, there must be like two of these in this town because I, I remember coming in to this POI or in an earlier episode. So there must be two of them. Unless we're, I don't think we've ever been in another town in this playthrough, have we? Not that I can remember. Okay, we need the bowls to make the soup. Let's 
Some more salt. Looks like there might be a weapons bag or something in the the broken cabinet there. Okay, come on, pipe wrench. It's not a pipe wrench, that's just a pipe. Nurse Nancy, get the hell out of here. Did not invite you to my party. What's that? Oh, that's flour. Did I? Why is that not putting a bleed on her? Now she's bleeding. That was weird. <laughs> okay, um, in here, there is a weapons bag. All right, cool. Let's see what we get. Give us a hammer in the weapons bag, please. Uh, ooh, nice. Um, okay, we have a decision to make. This causes... Increases block damage and lowers degradation by 15%. So this is going to give us a little more durability. Uh, you know what? Bone knives are, are easy to come by. I think I would rather have the little stamina boost from the ergonomic grip mod. Why did I even just pick that up? Um, yeah. What recipes? Oh, I should have looked at the recipes for the bong, huh? Not the book. Oh, well. Yeah, that's still just the tin landmine. I uh, don't want that. I, we got to be conservative with our space here. We don't need the jars. Du, du, du. One bent nail? Not really. Three wood? Not really. Um, don't need another cooking grill. And don't need another pipe. I can make those now in the forge. Don't need the plastic. Easy to come by. And I, well, let's see if we can get get away with that. Okay, so I think we've tested, or not tested, looted everything in here. So, I'm thinking maybe what we do is... Oh, that's right. One of you guys told me in the comments there's a command you can run to improve the graphics. Just now thought about that. Um, I have to look it up, though, because I can't remember what it was. Where's that other guy going? He's not even coming after me. Oh, now he is. Okay. Okay, you're dead. You're scary. Just fall down, Steve. You know you wanna. Oh, shit! Die! Why are you not dead? For Pete's sake. Okay. Now you're running fast. You need to uh, you need to start eating more, dude. You're a little bit on the skinny side there. I'm just gonna say, bad for your health. Okay, you did. All right. Um, I'm I'm tempted to try and break into the basement down here. It's gonna be, it's going to be intense. All right, let's try something with these nurses. Just for funsies. Get our steam in the back. <laughs> okay. The sledge turret always is always amusing to me. It's just funny. Hey! That was not something I wanted you to do. Oh shit, dude. see what it does this time <laughs> it hit her and it wasn't even pointing towards her okay you had some bleeds on you so let's get some more on you you did and then we just got the one just the one nurse nancy thumper what what oh <laughs> no don't push her into me you stupid turret <laughs> there now you did okay so anyway, what I was saying is, I, I want to try and break into the 
basement. There's a lot of really nice fat loots, um, and it's just right under this garage, but there's also quite a bit of nastiness too. The other problem is this is not easy stuff to break through because this is like um, concrete and and steel here. Uh, but I don't want to go through the entire POI just to get down to the basement. That's a long grind. So I think that uh, yeah, what a, I got to figure out how I'm going to handle this. I've got the you know, I've got the iron pick, but it just it consumes so much stamina, it's ridiculous. <laughs> just give it up, Steve. Just give it up, buddy. There we go. Junkie took him out. Let let's do this. Let's go up here. And I wonder if we can break through the floor. There's probably a Zeke in there. No? No Zeeks? Okay, there's a Toity. There's some shit. The floor is probably concrete, too. Um, what are we... I think we're wearing armored boots. Uh, yeah, we are. Okay, we're gonna scrap these for the leather. Come on, hammer schematic, please. Hammer schematic would be good. Son of a... Okay, we'll take the acid. No, I'm not going to take that right now. I'm not going to take that stuff right now. It's useful, but we're trying to conserve space. We're already four points over encumbered. All right, let's see. What is this floor made out of? 2,500 concrete. Okay, doggone it. Nothing's ever easy. Should we just go through the damn house? It's going to take a little while. Um, okay, what I'm going to... What time is it? It's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Almost 3 o'clock in the afternoon. How long would it take me? Let's get the... Let's get this out. I guess that's not going to take a million bazillion years. Because this is, uh, what is this? Oh, that's only a thousand. Oh, okay. Yeah, this, okay, I thought this was like 10,000. I guess it's only a thousand. All right, give me a second to break in here. Um, And let's just take another one of these. And let's take, I think, do we get the stamina boost for the fish? Do, 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 let's eat that. Um, I think we, I think we do. Do we? I don't know. Do we? Oh, shit. Dude! What the hell, man? Get some clothes on. Wait, you scared? It's <laughs> scary. I don't, here, I don't want to break my bone knife with the mod on it because we might lose, uh, lose the mod. So let's get this. Modify. Pull that off. Um, oh, shit. Now we're eight points over encumbered. All right, we want to get here, modify, put that on there. Put this down here. Okay. Nobody likes an exhibitionist. Especially when you don't even have anything down there to show for it. <laughs> It's terrible. Okay, anyway, let's continue on. Um, We're kind of thankful he doesn't have anything down there to show for it. Okay, yeah, let's break through here. This won't take so long. Oh, man, I'm being stupid. Here, put this on this pick. Goodness gracious. There we go. Much better. Okay, cool. Um, now, let's put the thingamadoodle back on our 
our knife. Modify. No, wait, what? How, oh, has that been in the cosmetic slot the whole time? Why does it even let me put it in there? That's stupid. I did. I just now noticed that. Ah, oh, for goodness sakes. Okay. Well, in that case, we might as well keep the uh, ergonomic thing on our pick, because that's what's consuming most of my stamina. I'm just going to toss that. We don't need it anymore. Um, let's get rid of this. 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 Just the stuff that's very easily obtained, again, you know, so I can keep my inventory under control here. And I think we'll keep the rest of that. Okay. Yeah, I didn't even notice that that wasn't even modding the knife in the first place. Ooh, workbench. It works. Holy crap, it works! Ladies and gentlemen, we are back in business. Woohoo! <laughs> All right. Well, okay. Well, you know, since we're in here, we might as well still go after the fat loots, but we now have a working workbench. Oh, my goodness. Beautiful. Absolutely phantasmagorical that we found that. Okay. So, yeah. Let's just let's just loot the rest of the fat loots in here, and then we'll wrap up this episode. And what the hell is this? Oh, those are like glow sticks. Okay. Um. Oh, that's great. That is so freaking awesome. Okay, cool. Um. So, I'm like, don't even know what to do now. <laughs> uh, let's go down here. So the loots are just right in this elevator, but there are a lot of monsters down here. So, uh, yeah, I was hoping we could maybe get down here without waking them all up, but that's not going to happen now. The thing is, is they, I don't think they can get up here and I don't want them to, can they get in the car here? See, look at all that loot there. Okay, let's open this up. I don't want them to destroy... Oh, wow. That's some nice stuff, you guys. Okay, let's grab it and get super encumbered. See if we can loot these boxes without the zombos getting in here to the... Oh, he's going to come up the ladder. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Um, Ronnie, come here. Over here. Where are you going, dumbass? Oh, no, 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 not fatty, not fatty. Maybe that's what we do is we get them to, we kite them out of here. See, the problem is that we're like 13 uh, thingamadoodles over encumbered right now. Son of a bitch. Okay, what can we get rid of? I don't care about glow sticks. Ooh, they're glowing though. Um... Don't really want to get rid of you know, let's get rid of the flower. Let's get rid of the murky water. Um that I hate to throw that out, but yeah, I I can't throw brass out, you guys. I just can't do it. Not in this game. This is a nice upgrade here. Let's swap those out for sure. And Okay, well, that got us a couple slots back. Okay, let's go back down here. And did I get all the rest of these weapons reloaded? I didn't. Okay, here's what we're going to try this time. Can I put Junkie down? Anywhere? Okay. If I put him there, is he going to... Lock me from getting down to here? Yeah, I can't... Oh, no, there we go. Okay. Let's check this really quick. Oh, nice bow. Okay, and then the final one. Come on, Zombos, just stay over there. A little bit. Oh, doggone it, Ronald McDonald. Son of a bitch. What's he doing? 
Okay. Killed him. Just got to get in here, loot it, and then get the hell out of here. Ooh. It's a stone spear, but it's like a, a red stone spear. All right. Can we still move? Yeah, barely. <laughs> okay. All right, you guys. Hey, what the hell, man? This was a good episode. Um, and we're really close to home, too. Uh, so we found ourselves a working workbench. Let's get away from it so the zombos don't destroy it. Not that I think they will. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to offload my stuff. I'm going to probably spend the rest of this game day just getting some resources. Um, we got that iron shovel, so I, you know, I need to dig more clay for worms for tomorrow. Uh, for tomorrow's food. Uh, we need to get some more wood, some more coal, that sort of thing. So I think I'm going to just work on that stuff off camera for the rest of this in-game day. And then tomorrow, uh, we have a working workbench. Hallelujah. Uh, we will start using that to advance. So we're going to make the farming table and whatever else we need the workbench for, which is just about everything else. <laughs> so, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. It was a good episode. It was a good episode. We got some good stuff. And I'm feeling, feeling better about things. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.